video description for 1975 Mego Amazing Spider-Man figure in the package. Uh, overall, this is a really high grade, crisp and bright figure. Um, I want to say that if you're looking for Case Fresh C10, this is not for you. But if you are looking for a really high grade, and I would say that this is a rock solid C9, C9 plus in my opinion. Um, as you can see, it's bright, it's colorful, uh, it stands on its own. Um, let me spin it here. <sighs> back same thing bright colorful very little scuffing all the artwork still looks great um, the bubble we will start here with the feet which is usually the most common problem uh, the feet usually have a little bit of separation this doesn't it's firmly sealed all the way around really nice you can see as I'm holding it it's just really nice this should make the pickiest collectors happy not to mention I believe this is a first year card I believe they went from boxes to cards in 1975 um, flaw soft corner Slight wave in the bubble. I mean, very slight. Bubbles clear. No cracking. No lifting. Uh, again, it's really nice. And it will also ship in. I don't. I know this isn't coming into the picture very well, but an acrylic case awesome for display you can see it in the pictures um, I try and keep my video descriptions under three minutes so I'm going to wrap this up by saying that I probably slightly overpriced this but you won't regretting own it owning it you won't regret purchasing it um, oh yeah one last thing figure looks solid in the package nice bright colors and doesn't appear to have any broken limbs um, which is very common with carded Migos but this looks good and I think it's a bit of a bummer as his hands turned a little not too bad but just a little so I just crossed the three minute mark thank you for watching my Amigo Spider-Man video.